this is uh, September 6, 2024, and uh, it's uh, continued to be very warm weather. Uh, it uh, is record all over uh, Sweden in a high temperature in September. And uh, I'm thankful for that, that I, I can drive out with my scooter and not be uh, inside my home the whole time. Uh, it it go very dark quick uh, now nowadays, uh, but uh, I am retired. And I, if I don't have the doctor, I can be out the whole day. But today was it a very strange day for me, um, because I, uh, I was up the normal time in the morning and uh, watched the the news. And uh, it as soon as it was uh, uh, it was commercial that come, and uh, I had to wait for the commercial to be over because uh, it was something I wanted to watch more just after the commercial, and sometimes I. When it is commercial, and here in Sweden is it eight minutes now. Uh, it is a long time, and uh, most of the, the time uh, uh, I forget that it's something coming after the commercial that I need to know. And the uh, and then I forget it. Uh, so, and um, sometimes I never hear the news before. I at least I watch the news in the evening, in the morning and the evening. Uh, other times I don't do that. And um, so I lay back a little when. Uh, with my head and lay back and I was thinking that uh, I can do that and uh, hold me awake I was thinking but suddenly I was gone and I the diabetes nurse called me and I have, a, I had a note about that she should, should call me about uh, uh, half eleven. And and when I what uh, look at the clock, was it twelve o'clock? It was noon, lunchtime. And uh, I have been sleeping since six o'clock. So it was six hours I was sleeping or I was away. I don't really or not sleeping, but the brain relaxed so much so it doesn't know anything. But the, the call from the telephone wake me up or make me come alive. <laughs> and so uh, the nurse uh, told me that they think it's, I have too much uh, blood sugar in me. And I, I recognized that this morning when I, I was away for six hours. The half of the day was gone, 
And I was so uh, thinking that I should do something outside. Uh, but now was it lunchtime and then the sun is... Yeah, it is not so very strong, the sun, but it is warm outside. And um, so I needed to wait and the day was gone. And I I was out anyway about six o'clock in the in the afternoon, and uh, I was to the store and buy some snacks for this evening. And I ate this uh, smoked salmon. I I like to eat. And uh, I find a, a new thing. People was was uh, asking for one thing there, and I'd be curious. So I ask, what is it they buy? I say, and it was uh, tuna. I have eaten tuna, but in United States. But here in Sweden, it has not been so popular. It's not so known of uh, people. It starts to be in that way. So I say I, I, I want to buy some pieces, small, only a little, to taste it. I say to, to her that... Uh, serve uh, those counters that uh, slice up uh, meat and and do uh, these fish things and uh, that you ask about uh, the meat that they should put it on a, a scale of to wait uh, how much it is uh, and like that. But we have uh, ordinary uh, uh, counters, dishes uh, that you only pick on your, uh, by yourself. But the big stores have, so you can talk to someone to cut up a piece for you. And uh, so I did. And uh, it was, it is, uh, it was, uh, I got uh, support money this, uh, this uh, midnight. Uh, I I check uh, after 12 o'clock in the night if uh, how my bank account look like. Because I don't want to have much money on my uh, bank account where I have my card, bank card. If I should drop it, uh, uh, they should not could uh, steal so much money from me. So I, when I go on shopping, when I know I should shop, then I place money on that card. But that is the card where it's coming in when when I get money support. So I check it and and there was was money. I have got money. Uh, and I was so happy because I told you uh, the problem I have with the money. Uh, that I don't have any uh, working working uh, years to count on for to get retirement. I have not working for for people. I have been working for God for the, the most of my life. I have not been working. I 
in in that way that I will serve uh, people here on earth. Um, I have done that in in the summer time, sometimes between my schools, but uh, it's I, I laugh a little when they ask how I have working, but I, I say I most have study. I have been to the school most of my life. I have been to university and uh, and special schools for uh, things like uh, computer science. I have a degree in that and and the leadership in companies that I have degrees to some extra things and then I have this PhD in psychology plus all these subjects I needed to have to to put in all the points to have to get a degree and um, so it it is hard for me when I don't have anything. I have the basic retirement like everyone get, even if they have not working uh, one day, they coming from other countries. I think they get more money because they get some support because they are new here in Sweden. Uh, but I have the lowest, and um, I am, uh, I am uh, needing to have people that support me. If I should do something, it's not that I, I, uh, in, not like I, in, when I was in the United States that I have no income at all. In Sweden, I have retirement, but just so I can survive, but I can't do something extra. Like if, like now when I am sick, I have be now when I got that money, support money, and I I tell you. That person, it's a, I get a touch here, touch here. Some, someone, uh, it's, I don't know what will come, but I feel the touch that about you that send me money and support that. I think they want to tell you something. I will see what's coming, but uh, when you when you send the money, it is very strange because in that time I don't know that. But when I see the money coming in, and then I see that I have something. I need to pay extra that have nothing uh, inside my retirement to do. It, it's things that I can't tell them that I need more money in retirement because I, I do those things. Uh, those... Uh, money I I get is like a, a spirit thing. It's money. It's money from from heaven to make things for in uh, for heaven to do. And uh, it's uh, was very strange for me once again that when you send the money. I, I think I I see you now. You you. 
You have curly, uh, gray hair, short hair. I see that. And uh, um, when the money come, then I saw I had a extra bill that I don't get those money for, uh, in my retirement. I have to pay. And that is when I go with a taxi to my doctor. And uh, uh, that kind of bills that I get, that I, I get and have to pay is, is between where I live and to my doctor. And my doctor is on the other side of, of this big city, Helsingborg. And so I have to pay. Uh, it's not so much money, but it will be money because on this bill, I, I, I read it, it says, it was almost every day I have to go to to the doctor. It was the it was in July, August, August, July. There, almost every day I go to my doctor or I go to the hospital, and uh, and I don't. There is not a limit of that money. Uh, in other in other taxi drive I have that I maybe go and visit my daughter there is it there is a limit uh, and if I have travel around and and uh, be like a tourist uh, I there is a limit to pay and then I travel for free but what it's the strange and stupid thing is that there is not a limit on the how much to pay for to come to the doctor or the hospital because they it's like they believe that we fake that we are going to to the doctor that we are not sick and uh, that uh, not so many have to go to the doctor almost every day like i have to do because my doctor don't know what's wrong with me and uh, he and I'm happy that he want to test. He want to see me. Uh, I have not heard from my doctor after I was to the x-ray for my knee. Uh, I can't read it. So I suppose uh, why I can't read it in in the in the report from the hospital is that that uh, he may be my doctor is calling me because it's something I need to do with my knee. It's not broken, but uh, I feel like it's broken inside, inside the knee, but it's holding the whole leg holding even if it's very painful to walk on it but I can walk on it most of the time not uh, not not sometimes I had one week where I couldn't walk on the on the my legs not uh, both of the legs was bad and I couldn't walk uh, I have to sit and wait until it was a little healed so I could walk on it again. And um, 
And uh, the strange things was it's it's doesn't sound Swedish. It doesn't so, sound Swedish, but I get it was second time I, I got the name in my brain from the spirit. It's this. It says Betty. It's not a not a, a real Swedish name. Uh, and uh, the one that sent me money, she wrote it in Swedish. Uh, and um, but you, um, but it's maybe not your, not your real na- name. Is maybe when you were a child they called you that, or it's a friend of you. Something uh, saying Betty. Um, and I tell you the, uh, the the day after, I, the night after I recording, the last episode. It, uh, and uh, and they say from heaven that something have started already. They say about uh, I feel feel that. I waiting for something that will happen, something big thing will happen. And that night I wake up that night and it was like a big fly, a big insect was flying in the air just in front of my eyes and then it was it didn't crash into my forehead but it was on its way to my forehead and uh, I don't think it was an insect Uh, it was like like a gun shoot it was uh, uh, it w- I had like wings on it, but it it going around in the middle of the body it was the most uh, body of the insect was going around very fast wheel like a wheel around 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 and not uh, moving the 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 wings it uh, that was stiff and uh, but it was like target my forehead and uh, i was wake up i was awake <coughs> when it come it was just when it should hit my forehead, I wake up and saw it. And then I I went up and uh, I, in that case, I need to stay up until the brain uh, place it where it should be in my brain or or take it away. So I don't when because it happened before you know, before I knew that this that if I go b- back to bed immediately after I have seen something it can come back so I get more experience of those those things and. Uh, and they are not good when they come in, in the night. Uh, I have told them in afterlife to not co- wake me up in, in the night. That they can come when I sit like now and recording, or in the daytime they talk to me, 
that I don't want them to wake me up in the night. But this did it. And uh, I don't know if it was something that should come into my brain. And it happened that I wake up and saw it. That was a mistake that I saw it. Uh, so, uh, and uh, that is, uh, it uh, come together with this, that I was sleeping so much this morning, that I, I had, like, I had been into something very much uh, thing that I, I don't know. But uh, it felt like it was some uh, tools that come into me. But uh, I don't know if uh, we will see if something happened that is uh, be something special. But I think uh, I am done with my traveling. If not uh, someone reliable person want me to go to their place, but it, it must be serious why I should go to that place. Um, so it is this hard and uh, to. Uh, and I have talked to God about it because I know God doesn't want me to to be scared and fear that I don't have any money because uh, the money will come. Uh, that I have talked about that when I sit at the bus in the United States. I was homeless. But I, someone has stolen from me <laughs> many years going to laugh about it. But it's called a Walkman. That is, was to play music on. And I had some CD, CDs music that I listen at. But someone has stolen that from my room I had with church people. Um, and uh, someone stole it. And I had some money, pocket money. So I was thinking I, I need to buy me a new Walkman. They were not so expensive, but for me was it expensive as I didn't have any, any much income, more than what I get when I walk around and ask for help in churches. I get $10 sometimes, and I think it was like uh, going to the dollar store or, and buy someone something Walkman and uh, it cost maybe uh, $15. And uh, on the bus back to my room, I sit and talk to God and I, I ask God to forgive me that I had spent money on, on a Walkman. And uh, that money, I I save the money for to buy me a ticket back to Sweden. So it was important for me, but I also, it was important for me also to have a Walkman. So I had some, you, you don't know me so much, but I love music. I play music all day long. So it was something 
uh, was needed for me to to feel like I had control over something in my life. And um, and I sit on a bus and I was thinking and I was talking to God inside my mind. And that's where I learned to that we don't need to talk loudly so people hear it. I sit and talk inside my mind and I ask God for, to forgive me that I use some of my money to buy a Walkman. And uh, in some second, God answered me back. And he, and he said that, don't you think that there is a limit of money? He said. It's, I have all the money, he said to me. And I und- uh, he didn't need to say more than that because I understood that the- there is no limit in God's money. So I didn't, I didn't uh, buy up God's money because he, he has lots. He can do whatever he wants to do. God. So that I learn to to prayer and talking to God inside my mind. And that helped me so I was not killed when I was in Jerusalem now in 2023. My last time I was in Jerusalem and I was on a temple mountain at the mosque, not that tourist mosque that you can see a picture of Jerusalem. I was sitting because they have told me in the afterlife where to go on the Temple Mountain. So I was at the the real old mosque. Uh, that is only grey house and a uh, four corners grey house that no one see because everyone is targeting that mosque with a golden roof uh, the, all the tourists but I knew I should not go there uh, and I I go to the real mosque that they don't want people to know about and I go to where this in afterlife life have told me to go and I go I didn't know what it was but I go there and it was a big big hole in a temple mountain there and it was fence around it so I couldn't walk into it because that was only a, a big hole I could be killed if I go into that hole and and falling down in many meters uh, but I come to know it what it was, it was the beginning of the bridge. There were, had been a bridge between Temple Mountain and, oh, what is it called? The Temple Mountain and the um, Mount of Olive. Olives. Uh, I was there at the Mount of Olives. But I didn't know in that time there was have been a bridge. I was there with uh, the Swedish church group 
the first time I was in Israel because I thought I, I need to know Hebrew to could be there. So I was with a Swedish church where the pastor lived in Israel. And uh, I was there the first time. <coughs> and it become, become that uh, when I have when I knew I should go to the be on the, the uh, temple mount the mount of temple there uh, I knew that because I asked myself why have I never been to this mount I have been this is my fourth time in Jerusalem and I have never touched the 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 mount or temple 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 mounting mount I have been to to the mount of olives olives but not the temple. But the last time I was to Jerusalem, I was told that I should be on the Mount of Temple. So it ha had, it was a meaning of it. And I don't think that is the only thing is that it's the end of of my visiting uh, in Jerusalem, it it have more meaning of it. Why God told me that I should go, I should fly from Sweden to Jerusalem, and then I should go up to the mount he didn't he didn't say uh, the mount of temple he said that i should go and and touch the the golden gate not like someone thought it was in san francisco <laughs> the golden gate is in jerusalem and uh, there is a door, an opening that uh, they have blocked, the Muslim have blocked the enter of that side of of the wall around around the, the mount, and uh, and I was thinking, how should I could touch that? A golden gate when when no one can touch it, uh, and uh, and it is because of the Muslims believe that Jesus should come back in that uh, door, uh, and they don't want uh, Jesus to go back uh, to that. Place so they have defended it. They have covered it with um, lots of fence, and, and it's a. I think it's a little hole. I don't remember how it looked like, but it was impossible to touch, touch, and it was no door there, either, and um, it was door much deeper inside but not uh, where where a fence for really so someone could reach the door and um, and uh, the, I, I didn't know he didn't say the temple he said the Golden Gate but it was on that mount 
and uh, I have to go there on the mount and uh, then he, uh, and then I heard from heaven that I should go to that corner uh, where the uh, where the mosque was the, there is two mosques on that mountain but the tourists think it's only one and uh, I go there and I was sitting and prayer to God about this with a bridge that was destroyed because they should not go there between the mountain. Uh, it uh, tried to lock locked, uh, the Mount of Temple, lock it in so they can protect uh, protect it from anyone to come in that isn't uh, Muslims. But the Jewish is going there, but they are not, not going to the right place. I saw that now the last time, that they be fooled, that they are looking on over to the Mount of Olives, but they are not where the bridge are. They are a little away from it and prayer and the Muslims be very angry about it so the military the, the Israel uh, army is there around those that uh, you wish that dare to come in there and um, I was sitting and prayed about this what I have seen and uh, then it come a Muslim God that uh, protecting where we were going. And uh, uh, they didn't want anyone that was, wasn't Muslim to, to, was, to be close to that, that gray mosque. But I was, and I sit and, and talk to God about it when uh, when this uh, God Muslim God come and screaming at me you're not allowed to sit the prayer out there he he start to screaming at me and one mm, military soldier from Israel the uh, he come running because he knew it should could be killing there. I was very close to be killed, and uh, uh, but I had a protection from God in that way that God have teach me to prayer inside my mind. So when the the Muslim angry man come and with knife and guns and uh, close to me I say I, I don't pray I only need to sit and rest my legs I say to him and he say go away go away he say and I was done with my prayer so of course that was no problem for me. So I start to walk away from that place. And the Muslim man, he saw that I walk very bad. I didn't have any, any help in my walking. So I had to walk very slowly because it's not not um, soft, nice to walk on. It's, uh, it's rocks on the ground. So it's easy to slippering. So I walk slowly and 
very very bad so he he stopped uh, screaming at me because he saw it was true that I say to him that I needed to sit and rest a little uh, and that is uh, that was just before this conflict come in, uh, in with Gaza and um, I when I took the flight back to Sweden I I was angry at myself why I took the flight that was flying over Ukraine and there was war going on in uh, between Ukraine and Russia and when uh, we took the flight uh, over there to Finland uh, I uh, it started to screaming mayday 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 and uh, it was very 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 hot in on the flight yeah, in the flying and so I couldn't breathe I have to take away my my mask to could breathe and I got covid 19 and was sick at home but I come home and and I survived uh, COVID without any medicine, and uh, and it, it it was this with the this with Ukraine and Russia also that there were war going on there, and then it started in Israel also, and uh, that. I got the touch now oh, because they are saying that that was the start of it. The, uh, the spirit that touched me is saying that that what is it was saying to me in the last episode that it have already started. So that was what was started. It was so what happened there when I I took the flight to Jerusalem because they in the afterlife had told me that I should touch the golden gate, and I did. I I touched the golden gate because uh, they told me that. That golden gate you you can see on pictures, that is not the real golden gate. It's a copy of golden gate. The golden gate, there it's not exist for our eyes anymore because it's in, in fragment in the soil. They told me from afterlife, so it. I only need to walk there and touch the the soil and I did that I was outside that door that they think uh, that uh, they think Jesus will come back at and I come there and I was there on the soil and I had got the message that the door was in the soil. So I did what they wanted me to do from heaven. And um, it is about this with the war around in the world. And uh, something have is it that have with this 
like a bull, bullet that was flying. It was not a fly because it was a little bigger than a fly. And uh, it was so big so I could see that it's it's going around like a drill in that in the in the center of that bullet and going into my forehead i knew that because it looked like it hit my my target my forehead so I will see what will happen. And um, and uh, you, uh, I had some uh, some people that question me t- today, uh, and uh, it was about this to prayer inside your mind. I have told you very much about the mindset. It's very important because now you ask me how to do it, how to get the uh, linked to the afterlife and and could talk to God and, and get the answer from God, not from old books, but today what God is talking about today and what the afterlife see uh, what happened what is going on uh, of our world what they tell Uh, and uh, that is the first of all you need to be clean it's not a, a shortcut you can take it to get it like like I have uh, that I I hear from God without any books and um, it is uh, this to not making tattoo on your skin and if you have already done it and uh, and uh, you regret that you have done it. Uh, God knows if you are regret for 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 have done it. He know that kind of things. But if you think it's it's nothing, it's not special. It's for this time we do tattoos. Yeah, they did tattoos. In the past also, in prison was it very much to show people when they come out from prison that they belong to prison, evil things. And uh, you know they, they do this horn in the forehead and want to be like the devil. And, uh, and many of you that have been fooled to join the devil's family but you you have been fooled but you can take it back by knowing to live your life clean not take any drugs not uh, sniff up something in your knows that go directly to your brain and kill your brain in that way you will get you will uh, if you survive all the crimes and survive everything you have done uh, and you have taken drugs you have taken in in your your nose uh, like spray things and all these things, you gonna know that when you be older, you will be dement, dementia, 
dementia and that is not fun to come to know that you start to forget everything. You forget your your parents, you forget your uh, your brother, the siblings, you forget all people that you have known. It's not fun. You forget to how to walk, you forget uh, to know how things smell, how everything be killed. Because that spray kills the brain cells. And the, when the brain cells is dead, it is dead and can't be recovered. It can't come back. That is that you kill yourself. And you know, I have talked to you about uh, what God like this to kill yourself. They don't like uh, that you go do a, a suicide. That is suicide when you bring in things into your body that you should not bring in. And uh, that is the question. That is the answer when people ask, have asked me sometimes how to could hear from God. It is you can't hear if you are not clean. You, you can take drugs and believe that you hear from God, but is the is fool you are fooled of the devil in that way. You are not clean and and God don't want to go in to things that is not clean. But uh, I have told you that it have happened that I have lay hand and uh, healed people that have been in criminal things. But in that way, God knew. God knew knew that uh, uh, they should be changed. In that way, when when I lay hand, they not only be healed, but they be healed for a whole rest of their life from what they have done. They have the criminal mind is gone because they be clean. So it's time for me to end now because it's long. Will be a long episode here um, and uh, it's someone touched me so I have to wait a little until uh, it's something it's a woman that is coming she is a little round but but maybe she is round in heaven maybe she wasn't or is it symbolic for something? Yeah, she is saying, say, saying she will want to speak to Elisa, 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 something like that. Elisa, Elisa, Elise, Alice, I think she say. L E, Alice. Um. And she holding something. Um, it's a ball. She holding in his ha- in her hand. She's. She's, it's a warning. She coming with a warning. She say she say that you should hold an eye on those kids with the balls. She say that 
uh, it's uh, it is so dangerous when they are playing with balls very close to the street and uh, there is kids running over the street only focus on the ball and not see the cars that coming she is talking about someone that listen now that now uh, in in this episode that uh, you should not let the kids play so close to the street and uh, it doesn't matter if it's you say it's a calm street because it can come very fast the police may be hunting a car and a car coming driving very fast there uh, you should build fence around where the kids can play play uh, with the balls you should have defend your kids there is no excuse when you come to heaven and your your child have been killed because of that you you don't take uh, protection on that your child uh, you let him and her uh, playing so so close to dangerous things and now she's um, and no wonder it was a woman because she is here warning you that listen because she uh, let me show show up uh, for me a uh, a streaming water and she said there is also those kids that is very close to where the streaming water are and the nowadays you know how quick a child can be uh, when you look down in your telephone and see something interesting and suddenly your child is gone and you don't find the child because it's laying under the water that's what she's saying so that's what she see she see in the future she can see the whole way in our life so the, this is a real warning for you and i think it was fun that it, it come a, a woman because that's what we think about humans that the women are those that should take care of such things that uh, ordinary days taking care of but uh, she, she she is talking in the old way to see it because it's many fathers that is single with child today so that's her way to see her in that time where she is she talk it from her time she's no no talking from our time so uh, that was a message so god bless you and thank you for listening